Hey guys, so we're back again here. Welcome to my Premier League predictions for the 2017-2018 Premier League season. Now, all these are my opinions. Just feel free to do a video on it. Or, um, in the comments, just say, who do you think is going to win the league? Or whatnot. But these are my opinion. And my opinion only. Um, and yeah, let's tend to the three teams that I think are going to get relegated. Which are... 20th place, I think, Huddersfield, Swansea, and Brighton. Now, the reason why I've said those three, because those three teams haven't really brought in any really, like, really good players. They, like, Huddersf um, Huddersfield has brought in very like, like some good players, but they need that one big player. For instance, for Swansea, so good, they, need, they need that one big player to push him to mainly get out of relegation. But, for instance, why I said Swans are going to get relegated. Because if they do lose, Sigurdsson, which they may probably will do, either in the summer or the January transfer window, I think that Swans are going to get relegated or done. And the same reason for Brighton. They have the, the brand new side coming into Premier League. They did it before, but they don't have the strongest of lineups. I don't think they'll compete with the teams in the BPL. And that's the reason why those three teams I've picked to be relegated. Let's head into 17, 16, 15, 14, 12, and 11. Let's go. Now, in 17th position, I've got Burnley. Now, just outside of the relegation, well, I'll get outside the relegation spot for me uh, because they've lost some two big players. Boyd, who was, used to be the left, well, left mid, scored some vital goals for Burnley to keep them up from last season. And obviously, uh, I think Michael Keane. Yes, I got it right. Michael Keane. Um, going to Everton, very very good centre back, which they lost there, and that's why he's going to Everton. That's why I think they're going to finish seventeenth. Now Watford for sixteenth is because um, they haven't brought in many good players. They've brought in I think a couple, but I reckon they'll just still finish sixteenth. Fifteenth for Stoke City because um, Anatovic gone to West Ham. We talked about where West Ham are going to finish, um, and but. I do think they, they might have a bit of a shaky start because they do have some hard fixtures. But, yeah, they should they should finish a decent 15th. 14th, I'm going to go with Crystal Palace only because it's a new manager. Um, t he's taken over. I'm not sure what his name is, but I definitely know it's a new manager. Um, and I don't think they'll do as well as last season only because of maybe their new manager just getting used to the club. And, you know, you got to understand that. 13th, I'm going to go with Bournemouth. Sorry, like my head a bit all messy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with 13 to Bournemouth because I don't know why actually, but like, did they finish? Where did they finish? Did they finish eighth this season or ninth? I don't know, but I put them as 12th because like the other teams, like it's, I think it's like this is the most competitive Premier League this season which has ever been. I think, in my opinion, for Bournemouth as 13th because they'll do well. They'll, they'll get over Crystal Palace, Stoke, Watford and Burnley. But I reckon they'll still go to beat the big teams now. Because even though they did used to beat the big teams back in the day of last season. But I reckon it's going to be a lot, lot harder to beat them. Um, at 12th, I'm going to go with West Brom. Um, I'm going to go with West Brom at 12th. Because I reckon they're going to slip up as well. Because they used to get... They, they, they used to be dreadful, I think, against like the small teams. But they used to really pick up the win against the big teams. Especially United, Arsenal... I think Everton, they used to pick up wins against Chelsea, City, and yeah, and it's going to be a lot harder. I'll be surprised if they can win against those big teams. 11th, I've gone with Newcastle, a team that's come up. But you see, Newcastle are popular to the Premier League. They used to be in the Premier League, and basically, they've got a very, very strong team. What the fuck was that? Anyway, that's why I've picked Newcastle as 11th. I'm if I'm gonna fuck all this up because this is not gonna work out. But I'm gonna be reacting to myself anyway. But yeah, that's why I've gone with Newcastle as eleventh because they've got a really strong team. Their team, most of the players in that team have been in the Premier League before, and they're very very strong. Tenth, I'm gonna go with Leicester City. Now, so they won't be winning the league again, or not anytime soon anyway, because um, Vardy. I reckon Mahrez is going to go in January. It's basically raining the stars. 
because uh, I was thinking of going in the summer, but he ended up staying. And basically, and plus Vardy is he is quality, but he can't build a whole team like Kante did, like Mahrez did. Um, and yeah, basically they can't really replicate what they did, obviously, by winning the league. But you know. I don't think Vardy can do it all on his own, and Mars can't do it all on his own as well. It's all a team effort to win the Premier League, and that's what Leicester did. But uh, ten, ten spot for me. Sorry, um, ninth. I'm going to pick Southampton because um, even though they might be losing Van Dijk either this summer or definitely in January, they do have a very, very good youth academy. Because if you're going to tell the rating, Ricky Lambert came from Southampton, Lallana came from Southampton, um, Davy from came from Leicester. Southampton, not the Everton Davies, um, and Van Dijk came from Southampton, and Luke Shaw came from Southampton, and all of them have been big names, and they've got a very, very good youth academy, so even though they might be selling Van Dijk, they still have a very, very strong team, and I reckon they'll do good in this year's Premier League. Now, eighth, I'm going to pick West Ham, because they have got Joe Hart, Zavaleta, and especially Javier Hernandez. Javier Hernandez has scored, I think, 26 goals last, last year in Bundesliga. And for him going to West Ham, it's a bit weird. Like, no one really expected it. But, you know, I, I don't blame him going back to the BPL because even though United did lose him and we shouldn't really have, or well, United shouldn't have. But, yeah, basically, they shouldn't have, they sh- shouldn't have let him go. But he's been absolute quality at Bayer Leverkusen. Zabaleta, at the verge of retiring, but he's still quality. He still carries City. Um, and I can say that on, even though I'm a United fan, I reckon he would he was one of their best players. A bit like Valencia at United. People don't really think of him as a good player for United, but he is. He's very good. But Zabaleta, he's quality. And Joe Hart. People, loads of people diss Joe Hart. And I don't know why. Like he, I think he's a sick goalkeeper, honestly. Like, he is really, really good. Um... And he did really, really good. Torino, and I'm glad to see him back um, in the Premier League. Very glad, actually. Hopefully, he'll do good at West Ham, but he is only on loan. But I reckon West Ham will seal the deal on that and put in transfer of him. Um, and at seventh now, I have put Everton. Now, hear me out. Klassan, Rooney, Keane, and Sandro. Quality players, all of them, right? But they left. Le- they lost the car cube. And I don't think Lukaku, even though Lukaku scored 20 plus goals a season, maybe Rooney can do that. But I don't think those players can carry Everton. It's my only my opinion, and because Lukaku carried Everton last season, and I, get, and I think that's what happened. And Lukaku's a sick player. Anyway, sixth place, I'm going to go with Arsenal. Even though they bought Lacazette, they bought Exaka. I don't see them getting into Champions League this season, only because of the competitive side on the Premier League. I'm going to have to cut this out, actually. Um, on, and fifth, actually, is Liverpool with Salah and I think Robinson. Even though they have strengthened this team, they still really need that another big, big player. Maybe that could be Van Dijk. I could be wrong. That could be Van Dijk. <laughs> but fifth place is, is what I'm, where I'm going to put Liverpool. Fourth place is going to be Chelsea. Now, the reason why I, why I put Chelsea at fourth place is because they brought in no players. And I say that they brought in Rudiger and Bakuna, but they've sold Matic, Zuma and Terry. You hear me? Right? They brought, they brought in um, Bayeko and Rudiger, very good players. But they sold Matic to the rivals and Kurzuma. And they brought in Danny Drinkwater as well. Great replacement for... Uh, Matic as well, you know, but um, on third place, I'm going to go Manchester United. Now, that's my, this is my honest opinion, not because I'm a United fan, but yeah, I'm putting United there because they've got a very, very strong team and Lukaku will be, should be banging in the goals for us. Second place, um, it's going to be Spurs because they've brought in no players, but they still have a, one of the strongest teams in the Premier League and I can agree with that. And But if what what if Harry Kane gets injured? Exactly. Let's see, let's see who finished first place. You miss three now. And I've gone with the rivals, Man City, because they've got a very, very strong team, and Aguero should bang in the goals, and they've just got an all-out-around um, good team. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!